today we are going to see about uh, supplier collaboration so far we have completed sourcing module and uh, contracts module now we are seeing sub, uh, is regarding started can someone confirm yeah i think the recording button on the top left side is ready yes recording is going on okay 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 so today's session is about we are going to talk about supplier collaboration so uh, when we are saying about what is supplier collaboration or supplier management ariba doesn't want or something it doesn't like to have management uh, in their names like contract management supplier management something like that now they have removing those management now they simply call supplier and if it is coming to contract management they just call contracts only similar way in slp also uh, there are don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest slp videos two kind of slps supply life cycle performance and no more management it is removed prior to slp the supplier system used for uh, supplier management is spm or sapm both stands for supplier information and performance management now slp replaces or the uh, henceforth the supplier is taking i think ariba is providing only slp not spm or sapm anymore because this is an integrated solution and it is uh, it kind of a simple uh, free style or uh, it, it looks uh, very neat and advanced okay now we before we go ahead and discuss about slp or spm when we are doing uh, business with the suppliers there are two reasons we do what purpose we are doing is there are transactional supplier and also strategic supplier what we mean by transactional supplier is we just want to do a purchase order with the supplier and he will deliver the material that's it we do not want to engage any contract or any nothing like that so here the advantage will be we don't have any partnership dealings or we do not worry for each other as long as we like the material we will just take it if we don't like we will not buy from him so those cases we can call them as a transactional supplier and we don't need to spend more on that supplier so there is no need of monitoring and also both will take advantage of price as long as he is comfortable at that price he will supply otherwise he will ignore similarly supplier also buyer also will choose that vendor if the price advantage is there and he don't and or there is a possibility that that item is not that much important for the company for example you are buying uh, a kind of a uh, ball point pen if it does not put any more efforts or something you just buy from local vendor and you just pay whatever you are buying so those suppliers we can call as a transactional supplier but the other one is strategic supplier why we are doing a strategic supplier is we want to keep long term relation with the supplier and the person who is supplying and the material we are procuring from the supplier is a core item relevant for us in that case are also the service we are expecting from our vendor which is very critical for us any hampering or delay or any obstruction happen in supply chain that will cause our business also directly in such a cases we need to keep continuously monitoring the supplier and availability should not be disturbed those cases we need to put our effort so that the supply chain is maintained thoroughly so uh, basic parameters we can call as true value that means even your uh, vendor will try to improve the product quality of your material so that he will get continuous business and also to take advantage of the competition second he is not acting like as a simple vendor he is also acting like a partner we in other words call business partner we want to have a partnership relation with the vendor so that we want to continue long term and we will take advantage of his supply and also from supplier part he is also sorry the, the supplier vendor part he is also sure that he is going to sell his material to us and he can also plan his resources accordingly so there is a clear picture of what is the conception what is the expected demand for his products he already knows because he has a strategic uh, agreement with the vendor so that his supply chain also will continue then so the advantage is long term relationship and business strategy so the here it involves higher trust so the supplier and vendor will have a good trust and also dependency relationship even if we are not buying he will be getting affected if he is not supplying we are going to affected in such a case we need to have a mutual understanding and it has to continue without any hampering to avoid any hiccups in supply chain that's why we need to focus more on strategic supplier 
and Ariba supports both the suppliers. You can do a simple collaboration with the supplier and complete your RFP process. Or also you have a supplier management module and you utilize all the features, including like uh, enabling and onboarding the supplier and doing performance manager and also taking supplier risk. So all these parameters both will be supported by Ariba. Now that we are going to see in a couple of minutes. Okay, now for a supplier, how he will be available is through Ariba network. This will be the channel where he is going to log in. And similarly, we as a buyer also we will be using a connection to connect to the supplier using Ariba network. So as a buyer, we have two options to connect to the vendor. What is spend management and another one is supply chain collaboration. Spend management is what currently we are looking like your contract management, sourcing, and also buying and invoicing as well as invoice management. All these modules that are supplied are called as a spend management, Ariba spend management or ASM in short form. And the second module is supply chain collaboration. What will happen in supply chain collaboration is we will not be using Ariba interface, but they are using SCC, supply chain collaboration interface, where their material, direct material consumption, those parameters like even uh, uh, what is called uh, when we are sending outsourcing our material for uh, uh, process work, those uh, things will be possible in SSC. Even even you can plan your bill of material, you can plan for your uh, stock production. All these things. Process. Sorry. Subcontracting process. Yeah, subcontracting process. Correct. So that feature functionality is available in SSC, but they want to connect with the supplier, then they can the integration will happen between SSC. Okay, now second supplier, instead of calling as a supplier management, we'll be calling as a supplier. Cloud platform, because the advantage of cloud platform is he can connect us with the uh, buyer and supplier, both will be connected at a single platform. Even a small uh, kind of a transaction happened at buyer portal is immediately visible to the supplier and whatever the supplier responses will be visible to the buyer within a fraction of seconds. So that is the advantage of cloud platform. So you don't need any other kind of a servers or maintaining. All those things is not required. A simple subscription, both by the buyer as well as the supplier is just needed to do the transaction between buyer and supplier. So there are two types of accounts of the supplier, Ariba support. One is light account or in other words called as a standard account. And second one is enterprise account or an upgraded account. So light account is basically for the suppliers if they don't want to spend more or invest on the portal, then they can use a light account. Or the suppliers who are very new to the Ariba to onboard and to do the transaction, this is a free of charge account. So they will be able to respond to our questionnaires, including registration process and SLP process also. That way they will use light account. And if they want to take advantage of Ariba's full functionality, say for example, they can look up our contracts, they can create invoices based on our this thing, and they can also propose cash discount for the suppliers for the making payment. In that cases, they can upgrade, comparing the benefits of the Ariba provided solution, they can choose to upgrade and take advantage of the full advantages of the Ariba supply. Ariba. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. As mentioned, SLP stands for Supplier Lifecycle Performance, SPM or SPM, SAPM, Supplier Information and Performance Management. <clears throat> the SLP, how it will work in Ariba is through same like upstream solutions are all processed through uh, template based solution. So here, whatever like, uh, uh, I'll just recap it. Supplier request, supplier registration, supplier qualification, sourcing event, contract workspace, all these things are called as a projects in Ariba. So if you want to do a supplier request, it is called as a single project. Suppose you are creating a contract workspace, it is called one project. Similarly, all your sourcing event or sourcing projects will be called as single project. The projects, in order to do these projects, we need to have a template in the background. So those templates are configured by Ariba consultants and the events are the projects which are created by the end user is, uh, sorry, the, that is what end user's responsibility. Okay, now when we are seeing sourcing template, when we are selecting RFP, it will give us list of choices. I can able to select what template is I can uh, I want to choose. Even when you are creating content workspace also, we can choose our templates depending upon our choice or our requirement or matching. But in SLP, we will have only one template. 
the reason is sourcing and contract or project sorry contract workspaces includes all your uh, uh, questionnaires or your filling data which is purely internal like your task and other things are uh, internal but when you coming to slp the data is coming from ariba and we want the responses from the supplier side so the detail whatever we are configuring in our template that is going to uh, supplier management ariba supplier sorry uh, ariba network using interface between uh, by the ariba standard uh, interface so that's the reason they have provided only one 